Okay, this one's an interesting minimal sort of one. Almost, I don't know if you'd call it minimalist. It's just a small thing, very thin and sheer. It's a piece of fabric, to be honest, folks. Uh, actually, I'm gonna leave it on full color for this. How big are we gonna make it? Going at 400. Gonna make it contrasty. Okay, let's see what this fabric is. It is extremely sheer, like a net, almost like a net. It's very fine fabric, usually used on uh, tutus and other fairy type costumey things. So we're going to try and move it while we're on, on the glass. Even though it's at 400, it's going to be bloody hard to make this look good. See how this turned out. Yeah, that looks interesting. You can see the colours swirling around a bit. Uh, you can just make out the colours. Uh, wondering what we're going to do. We're going to make this into a move, move the movement. We're going to move it again. So we're just going to take this and put it aside. I think it's a piece of rubbish, so it's going to get thrown away. But at least it had a use. And we're going to make a movement of the movement to make that a more interesting piece so I'm gonna try it at 400 again let's see if that's turned up yeah that looks good I think we can work with that we just have to do some enlargement and shit but it looks pretty good I think it's pretty good it's, it'll look good, I'm sure, this particular piece. So we're going to just uh, enlarge it, I think, mainly on the horizontal, uh, primarily. So we're going to go horizontal is going to be 160. And the vertical is just going to be a smidge 104. We're just going to see what else we can do with this. Uh, maybe the copy density could go up. Um, contrast can stay. All right, let's see what we can do to make to enhance this image further. So this has worked out well so far. We haven't had to keep making repeated, repeated, repeated takes trying to get something to look good that actually looks good. Hopefully this is this has worked out. Yeah, that looks really quite nice. The sizing of that looks a bit grainy though, but it's all right. Uh, Oh, there's something funny there. A little bit of something just got stuck there. Don't know what it is. <laughs> so, we seem to be getting drawn towards... Wondering what we're going to do. I'm just trying to decide intuitively what to do. Um, we're just going to work with this. Change this again. I don't know what we're doing, folks. I'm just thinking we're going to work at 200 on the horizontal. I 
I'm just trying to flow with my intuition. Yeah, that looks a bit stretched. Uh, it does look a bit too stretchy. I think the first version. Uh, that's an interesting thing we can do. Wondering. I think that's too stretched. Uh, I don't like that one. We're just going back to 160. And we're just running with it. We're just going back to what we had it on. Okay, that's our second take at 160. Uh, I do hate that little thing there. Uh, but, you know, it probably adds a bit of character to the image anyway. it's going to look if it's going to be any really any good it's difficult to know until you've actually uh, got the pieces out and have them lined up in front of you so it's really difficult trying to work out how's it going to work until such time as you've actually got the pieces all created and all lined up on the on the surface in this case it's a bed it's in my bedroom, this demo room that I'm making. Uh, I don't have any other place where I could safely put this equipment. So... This is the best part of the house, to have it. <laughs> I don't have a spare bedroom, I'm only living in a one bedder, one bedroom flat, so I don't have the option of having a spare bedroom where I could potentially create a studio. Uh, some people are very fortunate to have a second bedroom, uh, not I. So that's that one. And that's this one. I'm trying to line up the pieces as best as I can, despite this. Anyway, a little bit minimalist. Uh, I don't know. Uh, it's interesting. I think now we can call this demo quits.